All right, that is very fitting with the Eagles chant right there. Welcome back in, everybody. Sports Take, Jacob Sports YouTube Network. I am Rob Ellis along with my man, Derek Gunn. We are thrilled. We are thrilled that he is joining the show again. There he is. He does it all, man. He does it all. He's flipping the shades. He's got it all going. That is Brandon Grant. BG, what's up, my man? Man, I'm feeling good. How y'all doing? Good. First man. of all, I, are congratulations in order? Do are, are we now a a Michigan University graduate? Is that what a, my birdies are telling me here, Brandon? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm about to uh, get into that business school, man, and go ahead and get my MBA. I'm right for you, man. Props, props are going back and, and finishing what you started. Seriously, what, man. That's what, what awesome. What made you decide to go back, man? Well, you know what, man. My wife always been on me, uh, but you know, for me, I felt like it was an opportunity because this off season, I didn't. Uh, get that off season, you know, uh, bonus that you normally get for coming to off season workout. So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead, finish that, uh, since, uh, I can sign up right now. And so it just kind of happened real fast. And then, boy, I had to cancel a lot of plans, uh, that I had already had because, you know, that was, uh, like one of them spur of the moments, like, let's, let's do it. And so, uh, once we was able to do it, got everything together, man. Uh, and yesterday was my last class. So wow. Happy. Nice. That's yeah. exciting, man. That's a, is that a promise you made back in the day to your mom or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Just, yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why, that's why um, you know, I did that part. But really, I, I give credit to my wife because uh, she stayed on me all the way through. That's cool, man. Good for you. Good for you. How's the offseason been? It's a, other than the schoolwork, what else you been uh, doing, man? You, you know what? Just enjoying the kids stuff like tonight. Baby boy uh, got basketball basketball tonight. So I'm, um, you know, I just excited watching them do their thing. Gymnastics for baby girl. Uh, swim swim for both of them. And, you know, it's just um, enjoying the offseason with wifey. Awesome, man. Awesome. That's good. To hey, hear. Let, me, let me ask you something, because Rob and I were debating this a little while ago off the top of the show. Rob posed a question. If you could hang out with one Philadelphia Eagle, who would it be? And he put a bunch of names out there. And I said, for me, it's easy. Brandon Graham is number one. And Lane Johnson will be 1A. Because yeah. with you, with you, I, I tell this story all the time. You know, you're the only, I've been covering this game for over 40 years. You're the only person I've ever met and got to know. You walk out the tunnel the first day of training camp. You walk up and down the line and shake everybody's hand, whether you know him or not. Good to see you. Good. I'm thinking, is he running for political office? <laughs> I mean, that's unbelievable. And people are like, he spoke to me. I'm like, that's unbelievable, man. I said, this dude here, you can talk to about any and everything under the sun. So I got to ask you, who's the one player that you would love that you'd love to hang out with every day of the week? You know what, man? It is kind of tough because Lane, Lane is funny, boy. Lane is funny. Yes, he is. And uh, but you know what? Uh, me and Hargrave, man, like you know, uh, Hargrave got to like because he next to me. So I, I would, uh, I already know we, we, we hang here and there, but not like how, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a nice little, like go have some fun somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think uh, Hargrave would be the one. That's an interesting. Is there anybody under like we did the usuals like Kelsey? Uh, you, you know, uh, my lot would be funny because he can sing and all oh, that. Oh yeah, you know what? Uh, I do go see. I do. I am going to Kelsey thing on uh, Wednesday coming up, so I'm gonna get to hang out with him. Uh, but yeah, if I had to go with anybody, let me see. That's on the team right now. Hmm. You know what? I like. Uh, I, I'll go with uh, Jordan Davis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's good to know. We, yeah, because yeah. we were talking about the young guys, and we're like, we yeah. don't not not that we not in a bad way. We just don't know them well enough. Jo Jordan seems like a real Jordan, personable kid. He, yeah, he's funny man. Um, him man. Uh, what's the name though? He he is he's like me for real. Um, Nolan 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 That's Smith. What, yeah, Nolan already kind of you know embracing it all and just enjoying just being here, man. I could see his attitude, you know, carrying him far just making sure that he go out there and play. Uh, that's the number one thing. You got to make sure you ball out at least. Uh, mm -hmm. But but I do love that uh, he came in right away uh, just ready to work and, you know, excited to pick our brains. And, you know, you can tell that he really um, taking this serious. That's cool. We've heard a lot of good stuff about him. And everybody says he looks bigger in person than what we were told. You went through that too, the, the undersized yeah. thing. And Reddick yep. went through it too. And now, now Nolan had to deal with that as well. Yep. Yep. So yeah, I think um, I think you know how I go. Just go out there and play. 
Ain't mm-hmm. nobody gonna worry about none of them measurables. <laughs> hey, hey, hey man, you're you're 35 now. Do you feel like the old man on the team? You got a bunch of kids, 21, 22. Um, do you do you feel do you is it father time creeping up on you? Hey, you know what? The way I'm moving, man, I'm gonna just I'm just out there just you know teaching a lesson and letting them boys think think that I'm old until I'm out there. Uh, hit me with a uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but no, it's been uh, you know what it's been it's been it's been a great a great you know just journey as far as like my role now on this team. Uh, I can even see it changing even more this year, especially if Nolan uh, looking at doing what he do. You know what I'm saying? Like I just want to make sure I serve them boys, man. Because at the end of the day, uh, when they need me, I'm gonna stay ready for sure. Uh, but I just don't know. I'm just going into it, you know, just like whatever. You know, I'm I've, I've, I've done. I done made it to the promised land. I done had, you know, my fun. I'm going to still have my fun uh, even this year. Yep. Uh, but I'm not going to put no pressure on anything. You know, uh, I know my reps going to go down because we're trying to get these boys ready for the future. So I'm, I'm excited just to help them and to give them all the game that I have to uh, be able to, you know, help them. Um, you know, like I told them, I want to see you win. That's it. I mean, I, I know what it feels like. And I'm, I'm, I'm at that point now where I done won everything I wanted to do in this football life. And I just want to make sure I, I, I pay it back by giving it to them boys. And I'm happy that, um, you know, they, they, they really taking this serious. Cause uh, me, Jalen, all the guys, man, we, we do a lot of stuff afterwards. Cause I didn't get get a chance to be a part of the uh, field stuff. So we would do, we would lift and they would do some stuff with me uh, after every, every lift that we did during the week, Monday through Thursday. And man, them boys, um, you know, I could just see that we building something even even more special than we did this year. Brandon, that's awesome. I, I, we had you on about a year ago at the same time, and you said the same thing. You're like, look, I know my reps may go down a little bit, and at that time, you're coming off the Achilles, and yeah, but yeah. you had the same approach. You end up with 11 sacks, man, and and you look like you were in your prime. Like so, yeah. I, I think this is a good way to go about it. You, you you're kind of going in with like, ah, eh, whatever. If this is the way it goes, that's the way it goes. But man, you crushed it last year, and the productivity's still there. Man, and I feel good. Like, I'm going to go out there and give it my all. Like, I ain't going to make it easy for nobody. But yeah. I just that, um, you know how this game is funny like that. I didn't see a lot of guys, a lot of older guys, especially uh, that would have younger guys come in that they drafted and they want to see them and they want to see them. And I understand that part, too. So I want to make sure that I uh, serve them well, because, I mean, when I'm done playing anyway, I'm going to be a part of the organization doing something. So I'm, um, you know, just practicing right now what it's going to be anyway, uh, because, I mean, when you gain the trust of the players, man, you want to I take it very serious and I just want to make 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 sure one day, like I told them, I want to see you 14 years from now still here and getting guys coming up to you like, hey, Man, dang, you still kicking? I get out of that all the time because I done play with a lot of people, man, and it's been such a journey. When, I, when it'd be crazy that when some people come back and they'd be like, "Dang, I forgot I played with you" because I forgot it was that quick. Like this, how quick somebody could have been here probably half the season, like suing them, like you know, come in half the season and then done, done for the rest of my career. No, no playing for the Eagles no more. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's just. Man, you just gotta appreciate the times, man. And I'm I'm so happy with this team right now, man. I'm loving uh, the opportunities that we have right now. Now we gotta go out and go do us, cause mm-hmm. last year was last year. We got new people on this team. Uh, last mm-hmm. year, them same personalities. Yeah, we got majority of the guys back, but we still gotta put that work in every day. Ain't nobody gonna lay down, cause they seen what we did last year. It's like, no, this new year. They're trying to get out here and, and, and make a name for themselves. So we got to go out there and have our same, have that same approach and make the, make the, cre- create the name for what this team is going to be. BG, have you always been a leader or is it a role that you had to grow into? I say, I will say, uh, I grow it. I really have grown into this. Okay. Uh, I used to lead by example because I didn't, I mean, you would think because I do talk. <laughs> but I, I wasn't talking a lot because, uh, you know, it was it was the confidence. You was trying to uh, – you got to build that confidence. And I feel like for me um, it was a little – like, yeah, I knew I could play, but once I got to the league, uh, I was kind of forced to really, you know, take – step up and, and be uh, that, that leader that, you know, everybody uh, see now. But, man, I'm so so happy it happened the way it's supposed 
that it was supposed to. Uh, it's always funny in that middle area where you're like six or seven years in, and you know a lot of guys that still vet, still playing, and you kind of just still kind of follow when they lead. And then it just took off after I won the Super Bowl. It just took off for me, and it's been like this for the last five years, five six years. Wow. Look, I, I think most of us are always just going to think of you as an eagle, no question about it. Uh, were you close at all to maybe, you know, making a change in the off season before you eventually signed with the Birds? How close were you to? Ma- we heard Detroit. We heard a couple other teams. Was it close? Uh, you know what? You always want to see what you're leaving on the table. Uh, but I know for me, man, it's been like I'm telling some of the younger guys now. It's like, man, I feel like I'm getting everything on the back end. Uh, I didn't get it all up front uh, in the beginning because, uh, you know, Chip Kelly was here. There was a lot of stuff going on during them times. Uh, I'm just happy I survived through it. Um, and I feel like, you know, the, the the ending, the way everything is happening now is is, is kind of like, man, what I'm so thankful for. And so I didn't want to have to leave. So really, I just was entertaining only because I just wanted to see uh, what I was leaving so it can give me a, a nice little negotiation with the, with the team. But I was yeah. going to make work regardless uh but you got to make it you can't make it easy for them (laughs) (laughs) if if what we hear is true in terms of what you settled for to stay here you definitely fall in the category of money was not the ulterior motive for you i mean oh no ring you you made you you made your money it was all about finishing what you started with this organization which is so rare for a defensive lineman to do that yeah man and you know it's it's been Philly has been great to me. Uh, it, it didn't start off started off a little rocky, but we on we ain't talking about the past because I'm so happy uh, to be here, living here, and yeah. uh, Howie, you know him being the GM the first year uh, and drafting me in the first, you know I, I got I definitely you know give all the love to him and Coach Reed and you know that organization and that staff during that time and all these different staffs that have been coming in that believed in me uh, because, you know, Nick, you know, I've, I've uh, won over Nick and it's been cool because, you know, I'm all, I'm all in. I'm all in. And it's when you got vets out here, it don't matter. Sometimes we kind of get in our own way because we don't see the ending come. We don't see it coming to an end mm-hmm. uh, uh, as a player. And sometimes they got to make those decisions. That's why I'm going into it uh, optimistic uh, because I'm like, I know I'm gonna go out there and give my all, but uh, sometimes that ain't that ain't what they're looking for uh, right now. They trying to they trying to find the future, and so um, I, I just want to make sure that I do all I can for them, man. And that's why I'm uh, I'm, I'm very thankful uh, to still be in this position. And D Gun, you already know you're gonna be wrong this even more this year. <laughs> yes, I was waiting for one. I needed one. It's been a while. Yeah. He wrong, D Gun. Yes, I should have got on you this year, boy. But I know you was just. Just drinking that Kool Aid because we was going this year. <laughs> I was on the, I was on the boat, man. I was on the boat with you. Hey, but well, let me tell you, you're gonna be off that boat this year because I know you like. Oh, they got the tough schedule this year. Oh yep. yeah, I've already said it. I've already mm-hmm. said. It. <laughs> yep, that's good. We like that, Brandon. Yep. We like it when he's doubting. That's good. <laughs> uh, that's where that's what we needed that extra to get us that dang on extra drive we needed to win that game, man. Dang boy. They took one from us, but you know what? It was just like I said, it's uh like it's credit to Coach Reed. Coach Reed, man, he uh getting everything uh, in his career on the back end too. So I'm loving that for him. Uh, it was to see that ring ceremony the other day, boy. But I, fooling us even more to get ready for this uh for this Vegas trip we making. Uh, but you know, it ain't no guarantee. Ain't no guarantees. Like I say, we gotta put that work in. I'm gonna take it one game at a time. But that's our sights is on that this year. Hey Brad, how, I mean, look, you had an unbelievable individual season. The team goes 14 and three. You get there, man. You're up 10 at the half. How hard was that <clears throat> Super Bowl? To, to even, even now, how hard is it to stomach? Man, it was it was tough because you can all you can, you knew it just took one stop. Oh, one yeah. stop. And you, who, who knows better than you, right? We in there, we in there the whole time, like one stop, y'all. We get one stop. We got this game because Jalen, them boys, was on fire, man. That's right. That's right. Uh, but you know, uh, I gotta say, Mahomes was on fire too because them boys scored. The, they scored more than we did. So I know that um, when when the, when the first half came, uh, we was in there. I was more thinking like, man, what's the name went in there on the sideline? He looked like he hurting. Well, we yeah, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, we gotta get to him. 
and it just he came out. I mean, you can tell how tough he is, man. But that boy acted good. He sure put that face up like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, PG. Um, yeah. What was the conversation like during the second half? Did it ever get real tense with the defensive guys? Because every time Kansas City got the ball, they went down to score. They went down to score. They went down to score. Did the conversations on the sideline get get tense at times? You know what? It was more about the the like you know a little bit of the surface. You know, uh, especially yeah. us linemen. Uh, you know, you need that traction uh, to be able to get off the block. And we were slipping a lot. And I mean, I'm not even I don't make excuses. I just know that I just know that that's what was when we talking about, like what was being talked about. It was just, you know, us trying to get out of our own head a little bit, too, yeah. because, you know, that we knew we had a good man. I'm telling you that old line, yeah. boy. They got blessed. I say that. <laughs> Brandon, did you know, did you know, like even warm ups, like, man, something's up here with this. Did yeah. you guys know right away? I just, I just knew that, um, you know, we, when, when I seen sweaty, cause when we looked at the film, man, it was a couple of times where if sweaty don't slip boys, strip sack. Oh my God. Especially that first drive, that first drive, when he threw it across the middle to uh, Kelsey, yep. Yep. he was, Right there, man, he slipped. We could not believe it. Like, when I looked at the film, I finally looked at it. It was just like, hmm. man, oh, man, we we, 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 we going we, we gonna to get that on the get back. It's coming back. That's coming back. Hmm. Uh, but, you know, like I said, credit to Kansas City, man. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? Um, the boys, they played, too. It's, they, they, they played on that surface, too. And I heard that they got the same surface that they got right there on that field at their place and uh, yeah. Vegas do. So, we ain't going to. Hey, if we gonna win, we gotta go through. We gotta go through the battle, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, if they, if that's what they putting out, that's what we gotta do. We gotta mm -hmm. go out there and, um, you know, rise up through adversity. The game, game in and game out, is so physically and mentally demanding and exhausting, in a lot of ways. But part of your game is nonstop chatter. When you pick out a player on the other team, a couple of weeks ago, I saw Fletcher Cox on somebody's podcast. I can't remember who it was. And, and they asked Fletcher about you. He said, man, I got to calm this guy down. He said, I got to keep telling them, man, don't be taking off these people over here and make them mad. <laughs> and I saw one clip. I don't. I, I couldn't tell what game it was. When when you were ch you chirping at somebody and Fletcher said, hey, hey, BG, BG, BG. He screamed yeah. at them. You said, what? And then, like, you woke you up. It's like you get in these zones or start bantering with certain people. Like, you tell offensive line, I'm coming at you. You know, you ain't that good today. And I'm thinking <laughs> – what is wrong with this dude, man? Hey, is that part of your game? When you play this game, man, you got to take your mind to a different place, you know. And so, uh, like, like, like I, like I tell everybody now, I mean, I don't know what this team is yet. I ain't seen nobody get hit in the face yet and see how they bounce back. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because like this league definitely will humble you, and it will, it will see if you really, if you really about who you, if if, if you really are who you say you are. I would say, yeah. uh, because it's not easy. I mean, you have a bad game. Let me see how you come back practice. Let me see what you're doing during the week uh, to make sure that you you come back a lot stronger because you're going to have them ups and downs. You know, it's it's going to be us the, us as the leaders to be able to help some of the guys, a lot of guys that ain't been there before, these new guys that came in that had this Georgia, uh, you know, success. And sometimes it don't always translate right away yep. like you want to. But, you know, you got to keep the faith. You got to keep going, keep working. Keep keep believing in yourself, building that confidence and practice every day that you go out there on that field. You gotta gotta stay with it because you know that that it's gonna tell you on so many levels why you shouldn't, why why you can't because it's gonna be guys that's just cold out here, man. They they not look like it's just natural, you know what I'm saying for yeah. them. But they putting that 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 work in every day too, and they taking these reps serious every chance they get. They making sure they knowing what to do. And just going out there and having that confidence on Sunday, yeah. uh, because what they put in during the week. So that's where I that's where I start to judge when I start to see, you know, how these guys taking during the week because it's it's that's what it's about. Because that ain't like you can go out there on Sunday and get lucky one game, maybe two, but let's see how consistent you be because you got to stay consistent in this league and it, and it ain't easy. Yeah, well said. So it's spoken for someone who's done it a long time. BG, I got to ask you, man. There was a lot of whining coming from the 49ers side <laughs> when you guys took out their quarterbacks. They've even changed rules in the NFL now, you know, due to all the crying that's gone on. Uh, hey, talk to me. I know you hear some of this, man. Like, what, what are your thoughts on the way the Niners have gone about things here? 
Well, I can tell you they helped us even more uh, after that Super Bowl game because that was part of my speech. I was like, look, y'all, let's not be no – let's." I ain't going to say the, the C word that I was saying, uh, but but just know, don't be that. Go out there and get them their credit. Don't yeah. make no excuses. You know what I'm saying? Let's leave out on a classy note because we're going to get this back and I'm and we're going to do this together next year. And man, I'm telling you, I couldn't have been so I was so I was so proud at how we handled that after the season. I mean, after the Super Bowl, because it was such the highest moment of the highest and we lose it. And, you know, the way we lost it, the way the confetti came on us after that, it was just like, oh, you know, I can't believe it. Why didn't you let us get off the field first before they did all this? But, <laughs> but you know. It was, um, you know, it was just one of them, man. One of them things where I, I just was, I just was like, man, them boys had everything into that season. They just, they, they need, they needed one like they, they reminded us, reminded me of Philly when they needed it that bad. When we finally did, it was like, yes, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. they in that, they in that type of drought right now. So I know that uh, for them. Uh, it's tough because the last time you went, uh, the Ravens beat you. You know what I'm saying? And you just can't get over that hump. And, man, if we would have lost in 2017 and lost like this, I would have been scared to come back to Philly, boy. <laughs> I know we would have we would have been making excuses for real to try to, you know, try to make them feel a little better. But, yeah. boy, I know that, um, you know, the 49ers just going through it. That's not the way to handle it because you look like you just – you know, bitter about, you know, that, that situation. But I do understand that part of just, you know, when you put, when you invest it, man, it hurt. It do hurt, but you definitely got to control them emotions, control them emotions every, every, every day when you're dealing with, uh, you know, this job, because I mean, people going to take it and run with it. And man, I just, I just felt for them boys. I, I was happy we won because you definitely right. But they talking about if Purdy would have played, but Purdy didn't. That's part of the game too. He got hurt. He got he got hit by one of our guys, and he probably would have got hit again if he'd have came back the next game. And this this year we gonna see him again. So that's when y'all can put y'all work in, and the best team going the best team gonna win that that day. So I'm excited, man. I just know that we ain't handling it like that. We gonna always leave it out on the classy and, and control them emotions because we definitely coming back if we did lose. Hey BG, how does football help you grow as a man? Uh, you know what? Discipline. Like being on time for stuff, like you know what I'm saying? Like uh it helped me. I, I, I'm never on time, by the way. Just yeah. so hey, you know. get some hey. of that discipline in Derek Gunn, please, Brandon. Hey, well, I, I'm shocked, I'm shocked I made it on. I'm shocked you made it on time in this uh what's the name there? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but you know what? Uh it just it just really shows you. Uh I've been in so many different uh, rooms with with these guys, and you know, you start to see who is who. Uh, because this 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 game, man, it exposes you, and it exposes everything about you. And that's what I love, uh, you know, because I ain't hiding. I mean, I know my issues, and I know where I need to keep working, and that's where I do. You know, I I, I embrace it, uh, and that's what it's helped me do. Uh, it helped me build this build this confidence to know that. Whatever I put my mind to, I can I can do, man. Cause you know, going through all this, you got you got you got to stay disciplined. You got to be on time. You gotta uh, you know be be kind to others. You gotta know how to coexist when things is not uh, when you and another person not as as cool as you want to be. And it really sometimes don't even be you. It be something that they going through in life that you just don't know nothing about. And right. so me just trying to stay kind and stay true to my myself and not be who I am. I mean, I think football has helped me in that, in that aspect, because uh, for one, you know, you don't want to get out. You don't want to be in trouble uh, on that field, you know, yelling and screaming and being mad at somebody for real. I mean, I just be having jokes out there. I mean, I ain't really mad at you, mm -hmm. you know yeah. what I'm saying? But you just never know what people are going through in life. So I try to wa help watch how I control myself. And I think football has helped me because uh, they, they've got people, you know, there that uh, I can talk to, uh, that I can, you know, vent to, have a little safe space where I can, you know, really just help myself. And over the years, I've had great coaches, man, um, that, that's helped me along the way. Uh, my dad in, is in my life, but he wasn't in the household. So, you know, yeah. a lot a lot of a lot of times uh, being around uh, in that football world, man, you be around them coaches all the time. And sometimes you around good ones and sometimes you around some ones that that's working on themselves, too, that that uh, that's giving you bad information at that time and you know yeah. you, and you, that's just what happens sometimes but 
um, yeah, football, man, definitely taught me so many lessons about people and just myself. So I, I got to I gotta say, you know, it definitely helped me. It's part of that journey. Well said. Well said, Brad. Well real said. quick, I know you got to get out of here, uh, but g- give us your insights on what it's like being around Sean Desai because we're all kind of wondering, you know, what this is going to look like this year with a new coordinator. Hey, well, he's a great teacher, man. So far, um, everybody's loving, you know, just how he's uh, he's teaching right now. Because that's 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 really the the biggest thing. How do you give us the information? How do you make it simple where we can go out there and just be us and play? And uh, I think um, you know, knowing, learning about him, learning that his parents were teachers and stuff like that. He kind of got those like mm-hmm. it's just natural, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. so. I, I do love uh, just his calm manner. I want to see what he's really like when it's time to go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you always find – that's why I say, man, this game exposes everybody because uh, you can't hide it on game day. You can't hide yeah. it in practice because um, sometimes the pressure of the head coach or whoever's – your 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 boss is on you about, um, you know, making sure it look like what it need to look like for, for Sunday. So um, I want to see everything, you know, uh, as we go along the season – just on how he handled it. But so far, man, he's been cool. He's been, you know, em- embracing uh, the, the the older guys and say he got some stuff for me, man. I'm excited, um, you know, for what he's going to put in for me. Uh, but like I told you, man, I'm going into it just trying to help him and make it as easy as I can for him to know that, you know, I'm all in and whatever you need from me from to help to, to help some rookies or, you know, show, show certain guys that, that, that need some help, you know, mm-hmm. uh, I'm, I'm all in with it. But – the side man, I think um, he got some energy balled up in him right now. Right now, it's everything been kind of kind of cool and calm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, BG, real quick, um, when it started, when the rumor came out that the Eagles were thinking about bringing in Matt Patricia, and you know the history between Patricia and Darius Slay, were well, you guys saying, "Oh, geez, it just got real"? Oh man, I was just like, "Well, I don't know, Slay might, Slay might." Um, um, you know, X that, you know, I don't know. Like we, they going to have to talk because I know when uh, Slay came, boy, he couldn't wait to get away from him uh, as a head coach. But people, I would just say yeah. people are different as head coaches. But now without that pressure, I don't think, you know, you get the same type of guy. Uh, but you, but you might have seen some things that now you know that's that's him. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because um, but it's, it only exposed you. And like I told you, like man, in yep. football world, especially when you become the head head guy, uh, you realize that sometimes you, yeah, you the head guy, but I'm really the one that running over here that people don't see. So you got to take it, yep. take it in. And so some people don't like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> But I do know that um, you know um, everything is cool so far, man. And we we we'll know we we'll know some stuff coming soon because uh, you know how this season go. The dream team, everybody was all this, and then bam! As soon as we lost, what happened? All these people started turning every which way. But to, right. but together, we was we was separated during that time. So yeah. um, I don't think that's the I don't think that's the case. But you know, you just know what you need to work on during the year because uh, we had some stuff last year that y'all didn't know about, but I think we had a good group of guys that, that handled their business well. And we'll oh, see I, I, I knew. Well, you knew <laughs> some stuff. Yeah, you knew some stuff, but you know how it go. It's like you, you always know. find out what you, need, yeah. what you need to see and where you need to start building uh, that can hurt us later if we don't yeah. uh, get that in the bud. So that's what I'm more excited about, the real stuff. Well, BG, we right, know man. you got to go. We got to get the kids off to the dentist, man. We know how yeah. it goes. Yeah. That, that is, that's you, a joke. Love you, boy. Thank you Love for y'all. giving us a couple minutes, man. I appreciate you, Rob. Keep killing it like y'all doing, D Gun, man. And uh, you know, you always me. family to me. Yeah, I appreciate you. And until until you wrong again, then I'll have to get on you. <laughs> right. get on each other every now and again. Yeah, <laughs> I try to tell them that every day, Brandon. I, I, in, in your honor, in your honor, Brandon. Listen, man. Thanks. We Thanks. appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. All right, be good, BG. Thank you. All right, hey, great, uh, just yeah, just to, just to share just to share something with you real quick here. Yeah. Um, so you bring up the topic of who would you like to hang out with the most, and you know we gave our answers. We asked BG. So yeah. while BG was on, I threw out a text to a certain individual, and I said, "Hey, uh, it's D Gun. Hope you're doing well. Um, hey, um, I know you're busy. I know, I know what you, I know what's going on. Yeah, um, but." Can you come on with us one day this week? We'd love to have you on to talk about what you're doing, um, motivated to play, 
and about this team. So I was waiting to hear an emphatic, no, I can't do it this week. I get a text back, say, hey, this week is tough, but I could probably make Thursday work, D-Gun. It's probably be around 1 p.m. if that works. So I responded, 1 to 1.30 would be perfect. You'll get an email from our producer, Antonio DeShields, Wednesday or Thursday. What's your email address? I haven't heard back about what his email address is yet, but as of right now, and again, Right now, Jason Kelsey will join us Thursday at one o'clock. Boom! Yes, Gunner. Yes, my friend. No. That is that's you doing Gunner things right there, man. Now so, you, you know, I won't give you. You're wrong. Actually, you're right, D Gun. You're right. Nice. All right. So, you know, people are saying, you know, D Gun ain't paying attention. He's always on his phone. I'm on the phone because I'm talking. I'm I, working I, it, man. Listen, you know. Do you ever hear that from me? I know Not what you. You're doing. Oh, I, know. I know. Not you. I know. But I'm always yeah. answering certain people's questions about stuff, about football stuff, where I'm trying to say, hey, can you do this? Can you do that? And I was expecting them to say, I don't know, D-Gun, it's a tough week, you know, doing the podcast and all that yeah. stuff and all the family commitments. He said, you know, I could probably make 1 o'clock Thursday work. And I said, Man. Let's, let's pencil it in. Good job, yeah. Gunner. All right, right now, so Kelsey, this is 1 o'clock roll. Thursday. So 1 o'clock Thursday, Kelsey, we just wrapped things up with Brandon Grant. If you missed any of it, or if you want to just go back, there was a lot there, man. I'm, I'm going to get into something in a second with that. But just go to jacobsports.com, go to Jacob Sports YouTube channel. You can always go back and watch our interviews or, or the show in its entirety or segments in their entirety. So I thought a couple things. You know, a, a, as you would expect from Brandon, Brandon, he handled it classy when I asked him about the Niners whining. Um, yeah. But he it, he did say it motivated him. It helped them get get past the Super Bowl and kind of be dialed in. Like, all right, yeah. you're saying yeah. all that kind of stuff. Um, so I thought that was that was interesting. There was a lot of things that, that he talked about there that yeah. were that were interesting. Um, what I really admire about him, and we talked about it earlier with Kelsey, these guys want to make the young dudes better. And yeah. he talked about you, you know just trying to teach these guys. Gets that his snaps may be down, but you know what, the snap being down thing you would think is a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I think it helps. No, not, him not for him. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect for him. for him. Yeah. See, the fact that he's at this stage of his life now, he's 35 years old. He's got his money. He's got a ring. You know, he said, you know, he knows that when he walks away from this game, he will never have to play for another team. I mean, because back in, in the midst of his career, he had a chance to go to the Giants for a lot more money, turn that down, stayed here. He had a chance to go back to home to Detroit, and it was tempting to go back home, finish his career in Detroit, or to possibly go to Cleveland. Well, Cleveland was an unknown entity to him. Detroit was home. Um, you know, he, he could have gone there, but he took way less money to stay here to finish out his career because that's what this city, this organization has meant to him. When you think about, and we talk about this time and time again, when you think about early in his career, how this town turned on him, and wanted him out of here and chastised him, called him a bust, and you suck, and all the stuff that fans do. You know, he went into somewhat of a shell, stayed away from social media, deleted a lot of people, yep. didn't didn't listen to a lot of the noise, but kept doing what he had to do. He knew he had to overcome the injuries. He knew he had to prove that he was he was a, a legit first-round pick. He knew, but he stayed the course. He didn't let it get to him. A lot of players would have buckled under that kind of pressure and wanted out or couldn't wait until free agency to get out of town. Philadelphia is not made for everybody in any sport. We've seen athletes come and go like revolving doors, and a lot of them can't play in Philadelphia because they can't handle the pressure of Philadelphia. Not BG. The more pressure you put on him, the more he thrived behind it. Yeah. No, and I agree with you. Now. And yeah, the organization. Now. Yeah. Yep. You're looking where he's now, and the organization has respected it. He's always a stand up guy, he's the perfect role model for young players. And you were talking about how players like him and Kelsey go out of the way to help younger players, it's because of that culture that's been established here. They were mentored when they were younger, so now it's only natural they would do it. They're secure in who they are. They know that their roles are not going to be just sitting on a bench holding the clipboard, whether they're a part-time player or Kelsey's still your number one sitter at this stage of his career. They're secure in who they are. Yeah. And, in, and when it's some other young – you know, you hope Jalen Carter – Nolan Smith, if they're still here, Jordan Davis, they'll do the same thing for the next wave of players in about eight to 10 years from now. Yeah, no, well said. Well said. I thought the other thing that was interesting, Derek, he said, basically, you know, I had to make him think I was maybe going somewhere else, but I was ultimately coming back here. I thought that was pretty good. And the other thing that he threw out there, not that anybody's surprised by this, mind you, right. but when he's done playing football, there's a role for him in the Eagles organization. So Absolutely. I uh, sure, and I love that. That's exactly the way it should be for a guy like that. There's nothing 
he can do but help you in it, whether it's in the community, whether it's X's and O's, if he wants to get into that end of it, whatever. That guy is, is, is someone who is a a positive influence no matter what. Like, just sitting here talking to the guy, I mean this sincerely, he's infectious. The smile, yeah. the attitude, it's, it's yeah. just like it, you feel better about yourself having talked to the guy for a half hour. You just do it. You can talk to him about any and everything. Some of, some of the conversations he and I have had through the years are legendary, but you know I can't share them publicly, but just about stuff that's not even related to football. But he puts such a funny, positive spin on everything, even bad situations. Um, it, it's like, why can't more people be like And I understand we all go through different things in life, and, I'll, and a lot of us don't get the certain, get certain breaks that other people do, you know, but a lot of times you make your own breaks in life also. I mean, mm -hmm. what Brandon Graham has gotten in his life, he wasn't given. He's right. had to work for it every day. You know, professional athletes are not just given these. You have to work to be who you are, the LeBron James, the Michael Jordans of the world. It's not just a given nature. To be, to be consistently who they are, they work harder every day. Yeah. Not less, you know, no. and, and, you know, we all have different success stories in life. You know, many of our success stories are much smaller than entertainers, athletes, you know, mm -hmm. actors and actresses. But it, it's it's how you it's how you approach it. You know, do you walk around? You're going to walk around every day of your life being miserable, or right. you're going to turn the misery into a positive? I mean, I've had to do that in my life. Yep. I was at I was at a point in my younger life where I was like Mr. Negative about everything. Man, it was like just not not bitter. But yeah. then I, I woke. My wife kept beating into my head. You know, you're not, you're not, you're not thankful. You're right. not thankful enough grateful. for what you have. Yep. Yep. You're not grateful. And, and I got to a point, Rob, to be honest. Now, certain team, things that that bothered me in the past, I, I laugh at. Yeah. I make a joke of it now because it messes up your whole day. It does. It takes exactly. more energy away from you yes. Yes. dwelling on that stuff than. Yes. All right, I'll deal with it. You know, we'll figure it out. Whatever, and and you yes. keep it moving. Yeah, I agree with you. I, the negativity definitely takes more of your energy than positivity. Yes, there's, there's no question. Yeah. See, my motto is now: I don't have time for the, for the darkness. I yes. don't. There's too much in the light. You know, with it, it's not even about money. It's not even about being on TV. It's about I love being around my family. I love right. being around my friends. Yeah. You know, um, I love doing th simple things like working in the yard, going fishing. Mm -hmm. You know. There's so much positive energy out there. And a lot of times that negative dark cloud just ruins your whole moment, ruins your whole day. True. I've, I've been at a point for my last 15, 20 years. I'm not letting that happen anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Th Can't those either, either those people or the, whatever those factors are, uh, they're not worth the, the mental gymnastics that you have to go through you know, during the course of your yeah. day, They're, it's yeah. not worth it. You know, I know it's not easy. I'm not, look, we all have our moments where we're like, yes. come on, man. Yep. So I'm not telling you that, but it's just, it's yeah, I agree with you. And I, you know, the, the grateful approach is, is a, is a much better approach for sure. It's a life. There's no doubt about that. All right. That was awesome, man. Uh, good, good work out of you, Gunner, getting him and can't wait for Kelsey on Thursday, man. Way to go. Way to go. Keep your fingers crossed with Kelsey though. I hear you. Oh, by the What's way, it? we'll have uh, we'll have Tom McCarthy tomorrow too. So looking forward yeah. to hanging with Tom. Talk talk a little fills with Tom. So got a lot in store for you the rest of the week. That's for sure. All right, let's get one in real quick. We'll come back and uh, we'll continue with the Eagles talk. Actually, I, I want to stay on the defensive side of the ball. I want to do a little bit. I'm gonna, we'll talk about last year a little bit, but we're going to do a little make it or break it. D gun, make it or break it with 2023 Eagles guys who kind of on the fence a little bit. About time. Start showing it. So we'll do that when we come back also. He's Derek Gunn. I'm Rob Ellis. We are Sports Take, Jacob Sports YouTube Network. Let's talk about Jim Murray and Principal Financial Group because knowing who to trust with your finances can be a challenge, and you got to find that right person. I got the right person for you, and it's Jim Murray and Principal Financial Group. Whether it's retirement planning, 401K, if you're not happy with your present-day insurance, you have employee benefits in, in your business that you're trying to get off the ground, that's another resource that Jim can help you with. Personally, I've entrusted my IRA, my 401k rollovers with Jim. I couldn't be any happier. You will be too. Give him a call. 610-996-4751. 610-996-4751. Or you could email him, Murray, M-U-R-R-A-Y, dot Jim at principal.com. That's Murray, dot Jim at principal.com.